What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon53. Man, I'm back again, man. I'm back again, man. Um, Man, listen, I got to tell you about something that happened to me yesterday. Yesterday, man. Um, Tripped me out. N it never happened to me. <laughs> My bad. But anyway, this is something that has never happened to me before in my life. And I never thought in a million years that it would happen to me, period. Man, this this is what happened. I'm going to give y'all a story, man. I'm going to tell y'all what happened. Um, You know, I, I ended up going to the set yesterday. Um, And, you know, when I'm back, when I'm back in L.A., you know, I'm going to always go to the set. But of course, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know I live in Alabama. Um, one thing in life, time moves on, don't nothing stop. And that's what goes on, you know what I'm saying? In this gang life, in this gang world, you got uh, generations, generations after generations after generations. For instance, you might, you might be at an age like me, you know what I'm saying? I'm 59, okay? So, but of course, you know, Stuff just gonna keep on going, keep going. Now, with me being 59, of course, I'm gonna have homies that's 49, 39, 29, 19. You know what I'm saying? Youngsters. And um, if you do a lot of time in prison, you know, every, this happens in everybody's set with uh with each every individual that might, you know, been gone for a long time. If you go, you have homies that's gonna come up, you know, youngsters. They don't know you, but they know of you. They, if you if you was putting in the right, if you was putting in your work, doing your thug thizzle in them streets, um, your name still gonna ring. Your name will always carry on. You know what I'm saying? So to the point to where they don't know you, but they heard of you. And that was the same thing when I was a young kid coming up when I first started gang banging. Um, it was homies, you know, around the time when I got put on the set. Um, it was homies that were in jail. I didn't know them, but now, you know, through the course of the day, week, you know what I'm saying, months, years, or whatever, you know what I'm saying, certain homies' names would come up, and you would hear uh, homies say, man, we man, man, we got a homie name, you know what I'm saying, some, some of the older homies would talk about their peers that I didn't know, and you know, we'd hear, I'd hear all these names, woo, 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 and as time went on, they would get out of jail, and I would see them one day, and, you know, homies would have to do, hey, man, this is homie such and such. I'd be like, oh, okay, you know, because I heard about you, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, glad to meet you. That's just, you know, natural order. That goes on in everybody's set everywhere. You know, that's just one of them things that happen. But I never, it had never crossed my mind that one day it would happen to me. You know, trip me out. Now, this is what happened uh, yesterday. Going to the set, um, I pull up in the set, you know what I'm saying, kicking, as I always do, you know, at the uh, at our liquor store that y'all see. And so, um, when I pull up to the liquor store, I get out and I go in, I go in one, and I couldn't find what I was looking for in that one, a regular one. So, I come out and I go around the corner, not even around the corner, I just, you know, walk right around the bend. It's another little Mexican little store right around the corner. They had what I was looking for. So anyway, when I'm, I go in there and I, get, I find what I was looking for and I get it. So when I get it, I put take it off the wall and I'm finna go back up and pay for it. So as I go to pay for it, little youngster walk in the store. Now I call him a youngster because he's younger than me, but he had to be in somewhere... He has to be somewhere in his thirties. You know what I'm saying? In his in his mid to mid, maybe mid to late thirties, probably. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, if I had to give him the exact age, I'd say you know, hey, he had to been about you know thirty five, maybe thirty six, something like that. You know? So, at that's that's a vast that's a vast different age difference. Thirty five versus you know, 59. So what is that like? What, 24 years? Um, something like that. Let me see. 35, 
45, 55, 56, 57. That's yeah, like I thought 24 years difference. Okay, so he a child to me. You know, he, I got kids. Matter of fact, all my kids older than him. But anyway, so when I turn around, um, I go to pay for what I had in my hand. The dude walk up on me, and he wasn't no big dude neither. You know what I'm saying? Small dude. So he walk up on me, and um, with aggression, real aggression. So uh, when he walk up on me, like, yeah, he like, check this out, cuz, man, what set you from? <laughs> what? When I say I was taken aback, I was taken aback. So when he said it, I said, cuz, what? He's like, cuz, what set you from? I mean, where you from? So, boom, I snapped back, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, hold up, man. You know, I'm, hey, I'm tuned now. So I'm like, I'm like, cuz, what set you from? So the dude like, daddy, cuz, I'm from where you at? So basically what he was saying, he from Five Travelon because we were in Five Travelon set. So he like, cuz, I'm from where you at? So I, you know, I tell him, I'm like, cuz, well, I'm from where you at too. So he like, cuz, man, where you from, homie? Huh? And of course, I was, you know, I, I was, I was G'd up. You know what I'm saying? You could, I, the, the, the clothes I had on were, were gang paraphernalia. You could tell I was banging, you know, wasn't no, wasn't no ifs, ands, or buts. But like I say, you know, that's how I dress, especially when I'm back in LA. You know what I'm saying? So, um, um, so what I say? Oh, yeah. So anyway, so, oh, uh, you know, we, I'm, you, you, where you from, man? Woo, 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 woo. But now, of course, at the, now the whole time, I done kind of snapped back. And in my mind, I ain't going to lie. I was proud of him. I was proud of him because he was doing his job. That's his job. Now, in L.A., that's how things go in L.A. Um, especially in my time coming up. It's a little, I, thought, I thought that was a lost art form, for real, for real. But it wasn't, you know what I'm saying, homie? The homie did his job, his, your, his job. And look, if you, especially like like I say, when I was coming up, if dudes was walking through the hood and you didn't know them because you know everybody who live in your set and dudes belling around, walking through, and you don't know them, you'll think you got to hit them up, go to them. Like, cause, you know, that was that's one of the main things that said in L.A. every day. Cause where you from, homie? Cause what set you from? You need to know. Because if it's the enemy... You need to get on his head because he might be over there to do some nefarious activities. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's what it is. Because I, I give you a story one time. This was back in like the 80s. I had got out. And, um, I was G'd up, khakis, Pendleton's, you know what I'm saying? Romeo's on with the golf hat, the whole hookup, you know, like the, our uniform, our gang paraphernalia. So, anyway, I'm walking through the, I'm, I just got out the day before this. And so I'm walking through South Park. So now, I got a homie named I got a homie named Monster, and uh, I forget the other homie he was with, but both um, both of them was new. I didn't know him. Period. You know what I'm saying? They was somebody. They was some youngsters got put on the set while I was in jail. So when I'm belling through the park, I see them, and they see me. They look right at me, and there's no is there's no if ands or buts. They knew I was banging because of the pair, gang paraphernalia that I was wearing. So I see him, I look at him, I keep on strolling. So I walk through the park, I walk up on Avalon on 51st, and I go to our liquor store. And, you know, it's homie standing out there, so, you know, they glad to see me. Oh, big homie, cuz, tune, what's up, what's up, what's up? You know, going you know, going through the regular. So, boom, within about five, ten minutes, uh, the homie monster and the other homie, they, they, they bell up, they walk up. So when I see them walk up, they looking. Uh, another homie that was standing there with me, he introduced me to me like, yeah, Toon Cud, these, these two of the little homies right here, Cud, that's Monster, and that's such as I could remember the other homie name. So now I look at him. I'm like, oh, Cud, they from the set? He like, yeah. So I remember both of them was the two individuals that I passed by in the park. So now I look at him. I'm like, Cud, what's up? They like, oh, man, what's up, big homie? I say, hold on, listen. I say, cuz, do I look like I bang? They look at me. They're like, yeah. I say, cuz, do you know me? they like, no, I don't know you. So I asked the other one. I say, cuz, you know me? He's like, no, cuz, I don't know you. 
I say, so you can tell I'm banging, but you don't know me. Y'all the two I just passed by in the park, right? They like, yeah. I said, okay. I'm like, Cub, why you didn't hit me up? If you don't know me and I'm in, I'm in, I'm in your, I'm in your set, belling through there like it ain't nothing, and you don't know me, cause why y'all didn't hit me up? Uh, uh I fired on them. Boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? They jump back, they look at so the other homies like, cause what's up? I'm like, cause man, what if I was coming through here to do some dirt? You know what I'm saying? Cause they don't know me and they just let me bell up in the set like this here. Cause they ain't doing their job. No, that's some that's some that's some buster stuff. No, they got to straighten that up. Needless to say, <coughs> as time went on, both of them turned out to be good homies, though. You know, as time went on, they you know learn it a learning curve, little, little learning activity. <coughs> <coughs> so this was the thing with uh with the homie yesterday. Trip me out. He did his job, though, but now still in all, even though he's doing his job, though, you know what I'm saying, because at the end of the day, I'm still cartoon fool. Don't nobody front me like that, especially in my own set. You done fronted me, but he doing his job. So, uh, with, like I said, we going back and forth. So, he like, cuz, um, he tell me who he is. You know, cuz, I'm such, such, cuz, I'm fire trait. So, immediately, you know, I'm I'm like, cuz, I'm, I'm, cause I'm OG cartoon, cuz, fire trait outline. He look at me. So he was like, hey. He was like, uh, all right, he was like, cuz, um, oh, you the big homie then, cuz, I heard of you. I'm like, yeah, cuz, I'm the big homie, cuz. He was like, all right, cuz, you know, he was like, man, I, I just didn't know who you was, cuz, when I see you. I'm like, man, who this fool been through in the hood like this here? And I don't know him. I'm like, cuz, I understand that. You doing your job, homie. You doing your job. I ain't mad at you. Cuz, I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. Then turn around on top of that. I had some house shoes on. You know what I'm saying? The house shoes. You know the game banging house shoes we wear. But I was walking on the back of them. Instead of me putting my foot in and pulling the whole thing on, I was walking on the back. And in LA, cuz you coming in you come in the hood like that, you come in the set like that. That's a no no. That's push ups off the rip. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, prison politics play a little role in that one. Cause you know, on the yard and on the yard in the pen. You just you can't come out with uh with no house shoes on, I mean not house shoes, but uh, with like with your shower shoes on. No, cause that's a violation. You always gonna get on your head. But now it's in my set. It's the same thing on the street. Cause you pull up in the set with house shoes, uh, slippers, and all that on. It's push ups. You gotta do push ups. So um, so I'm talking to young. Know, he looked down. He looked down at him. And um, he was like, "Cuz man, you know you in violation." I'm like, "Cuz, what you talking about?" He like, "Man, he pointed to my shoes." I I started laughing because he had me. He right, he had me. I was in violation. So I'm like, "Dang, cuz." I say, "You right, homie." Cuz I say, "Cuz, you right." He like, "Homie, that's 25 push-ups, cuz." You know, he say it's supposed to be 50 for the set. He say, "Because yes, yeah, 25." And I looked at the little youngster. I said, "Cuz, you know what, homie?" I said, "You right." Cause remember, I tell you, cause ain't no one man bigger than the program, cause you know what I'm saying. You ain't, you are, you are not your set. You are from your set. You gotta follow the rules and regulations. So I'm like, cause you know what, homie, you right. You, 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 you right, cause you know what I'm saying. I say, cause you got me. I say, I'm gonna give you them push-ups. And I got out and, and gave homie, I gave homie 25 push-ups. I did my push-ups. You know, my eyes kind of red. I'm sleepy right now. But anyway, I did my push-ups, cause you know what I'm saying. And uh, and by this time, it was some other youngsters standing around. They respected because they looked at the fact, dang, man, uh, the big homie doing his push up, you know what I'm saying? You know, usually, you see, that's one of the things nowadays. Man, the older dudes getting out of jail or, you know what I'm saying, come around and they push their weight around. And um, them youngsters, they look at that. You'd be surprised how smart them youngsters are, man, nowadays. And they look at the fact that, oh, okay, it's, you know, them old, the older homies, the G homies. They up under this code of do what I say and not as I do. You know what I'm saying? But no, it don't work like that, homie. Every because we all together, cuz, you know what I'm saying? You 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 follow the same rules that you put out for them youngsters, cuz you gotta follow them same rules too. It ain't about do what do what we tell you to do, but don't do it, this and that. No, cuz. So I was in violation. I did my push ups. And it wasn't no thing. But it tripped me out. And then you know me and homie talk. Uh we talked, we talked, we kicked it. And, um, oh, my bad. 
Then come to find out, I knew the youngster. Well, no, I didn't really know him. I knew of him. And um, he said he didn't know me. But it, what it was, he didn't remember me. When I first got out, when I very, very first got out and I came to the set, um, I ran into him. And our first confrontation was, now, now this this is a little rider. The homie right there I'm talking speaking on, he a rider, y'all. I had on some um I had on some white K Swiss with some powder blue shoe strings. And um as soon as I walked up in the park, now like I say, this is about this is about this years ago, you know, five, six, seven years ago. As soon as I walked in the park and um kicking with the homies, they were like, Oh, big tune, cuz you know, who you out, man? Woo, 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 woo. You know, so we jumping around, shaking hands, kicking it. So, you know, I met him and um he immediately pointed down at my shoes. He was like, cuz, we don't wear that. I'm like, what's up, cuz, what you talking about? You know, because back in the day, I always wore blue shoestrings in my shoes, always. That was part of my paraphernalia, the blue shoestrings. But he pointed at my shoes. He's like, cuz, we don't do that. I'm like, we don't do what? He like, cuz, we don't do that powder blue. Now, of course, to me at this time, I don't know what he talking about. Because like I say, I've been gone 23 years. I don't understand the significance at this time of dark blue and light blue and powder blue, you know what I'm saying? Um, but what it is for you know y'all out there um, in social media world that don't understand it in LA, like I say, you know, you know, you, you got you got the divide. You got the you got the gangsters on. You got the gangster car and you got the in hood car. Gangsters wear dark blue. Any anybody coming up under the gangster banner, they wear dark blue. Anybody coming up under the neighborhood banner. They wear that that powder blue, that North Carolina blue, because that's their hookup. They wear that North Carolina a lot. And um, they wear that powder blue, which at this time, I don't know nothing about that. Like I say, I've been locked up in Alabama, not California, but at this time, I've been locked up in Alabama prison. Gone, way away, 3,000 miles away for 23 years. So I don't know all the rules and regulations. All I know at this time was blue is blue, you know? So, um, but he, he, he told me, he like, cuz, I was like, what you talking about? He point, he said, cuz, we don't wear powder blue, homie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that, uh, he say, uh, what did you tell me? He say, man, uh, that, that, that's in hood blue. I'm like, what did you know? What? Did? So he had to explain all of it to me. Like I just explained it to y'all. And I was like, oh, cuz I say, homie, you know, hey, I, I, you know, cause I've been gone. I didn't know. I don't know. He was like, yeah, cuz we don't wear that. We don't wear that. So, you know, guess what? I took the shoe strings out. You know what I'm saying? You know, I respect the code. I took the shoe strings out. Like I say, that was that was five, six, seven, eight years ago. You know when I did that. But anyway, I took the shoe strings out because I didn't know. You know, I, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, this this was the same little youngster though. He had got a little bit older. Then you know he went to the prison. You know what I'm saying? And I guess he just you know he just didn't remember me because I didn't remember him at all. Till you know everything else transpired and we went to talk and the other homies like, "Cause you remember when?" Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, "Oh, okay, okay, okay." But yeah, that man, that, that's what happened to me, man. I, you know, I just you know I got to keep y'all posted on certain stuff, you know. And um, but after he, after he found out who I was, he was like, "Oh, big homie, cuz man, I heard so much about you. You know what I'm saying? Cool. You know, woo, woo, woo. I always wanted to meet you." And this, that, and other. I say, okay, well, yeah, cause you, you, you met me then. We good, we good, right? we good. But anyway, man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon Five Three. You had to keep y'all posted on that, man. I got uh, another video coming out in uh in a couple of hours. I want y'all to check out. You know, what I'm saying I took you dog to a, through a little trip through South Central on that east side and that you know them Avalon areas. But anyway, man, I got to get up out of here for right now. You know, what I'm saying peace. I'm out.